Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you. Continuing on, Bitwig Studio 2, a beginner's course. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at scenes and how we can work with scenes to start to build a project or a track. So scenes are these guys right up here. One, two, three. You've got launch buttons. So if I select the play or launch button for scene one, it's going to activate both of the clips below. So as whereas before we were only able to playing the clips play one at a time with the scene being played it's going to play whatever clips um, are housed directly below that scene so in scene two you can see there's only one clip and then there's nothing below so let's let's give that a quick try <laughs> So you can see kind of how that works. I hit scene one, I had the drums and I had the synth. And then when I hit scene two, we got drums, but the synth stopped playing. And the reason for that is because there's a stop button right here. So whatever is in that scene is what's activated. So what was activated was the drum loop and the stop button, which stopped the previous clip. So by hitting the tab button, currently we're looking at scenes in a vertical fashion. If we hit tab, then we're looking at the scene in a horizontal fashion. So same information, just different display. We'll go back to this guy and we'll take a look at, um, I'm not really a big fan of these particular drums, so I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna hit delete on my keyboard. So they're gone and we'll take this clip and we'll just drag it over to the clip one. So now we've gotten scene one, we've got our uh, drums and our synth. So typically, in a song fashion, you're not going to have every element start right at the front of the song. You're going to have some sort of buildup as the song progresses. So let's go ahead and take our synth and move it over to scene three. And we're going to fill in the gap with some more drum and percussive information through here. So now you can see I'm kind of getting to the end of the visual display of my scenes. If I want to make that bigger, I can drag this guy, hover over, click, hold down and drag. And I can move out through this way to see it additional space and keep my arrange view. You know, I don't, if I don't want the arrange view, if I just want to see the clips, then I can come back over here and get rid of the arrange view with this button here. So now we've just got our scenes and we can continue to add scenes by clicking the add button if we choose to. So we'll, for now we'll put the arrange view back and we'll kind of, so we've got our drums here. I'm going to, um, hover over that it's highlighted by the white box and I'll select my duplicate slot and you can see it added another drum loop there and we'll do it one more time to put it all the way up to scene three so currently we have the same drum loop but let's add a little variation so the first one I'll select this drum loop and we'll take pay, pay attention to our inspector over here I'll scroll down and I can see that we're at 128 because we've changed that drum, we've gotten rid of the other drum loop. So let's bring our global down to 128. Now I can also change the pitch of this drum loop. So let's change it an octave, which is minus 12, and it's available for me right here. So now this original, this this loop will go down 12, and then this one will play at its original pitch, and so will that one. So just a slight variation there, kind of, you know, something to work with as far as making the song progress. Um, in here, since the synth is coming in at scene three, in here I'd like to add some sort of percussive, what they call top loop. So I'm going to highlight that, and we're going to hit the letter B on our keyboard to bring up our menu. We'll go back into our beat port sounds, and we'll go down to the top loops folder. And let's just kind of audition a few of these. And you can hear it kind of playing at a different tempo. It's kind of sounding stretched. So again, we can just hit this button right here. It'll match the project tempo if we do that, and it'll sound a little bit clearer to us.
we'll go with that one for now. So now when I launch scene two, I'll have both of those loops available to me. And what I really needed to do was add, so I'll right click, add an audio track, and we'll bring this clip down. So that way it won't interfere with this guy. And then we'll hit duplicate, and it'll copy over. So now we've got a basic song structure here. We've got our intro drums pitched down, then we've got our drums at regular pitch. Our top loop comes in, continues to play as our synth comes in in scene three. So yeah, making progress. So let's move on to the next tutorial and take a look at how we can record this over into our timeline.